As we see, cute little drop going on right now at the moment. Uh, Hoodlum is just kind of picking off a few of the probes, able to kill off a couple of stalkers, and unfortunately the medevac is killed off, so he can't do anything with it, but that was a very nice decision making, kind of keeping the Protoss on his toes around the map, not letting him be comfortable. But the new news of the story is he has quit on the Colossus, decided to go with the full Templar tech. Five high Templars are out on the map. Psionic Storm has been researched, guys. That's one thing definitely keep in mind. Psionic Storm has been researched. Now, with Charge and Psionic Storm and a Colossus, it is very, very potent. It is very hard. I mean, it's not easy. Um... You guys are going to bug me during my cast. Rah. Um, yeah, no, like I said, it's a very potent combination right now. Um, Archons and Charge a lot and High Templars. It's just really hard, especially when you get into choky positions. It's very hard for the Terran player to micro against that. Um, another drop going on over here at the top right side. Good job by Hoodlum keeping staying active and actually pushing up the front. This is what we're talking about. He needs to just back up from all this. He's actually even bringing the probes, so... Probes walking right through the storms. He is out of storms officially right now. Medivac can still heal, but he's just attacking the gateways instead of the actual units. Hoodlum, what are you doing right now? So he's actually not completely paying attention to what's going on with his army. And if he actually did, he would have been able to take out the High Templars and maybe even the Archon. One lives. One Archon will live with no shields practically and... At least able to take out a few probes. We're going to look at the count right now. Total worker count now up to 19 for Hoodlum. Is there another drop? No. Looks like that's all it is for that. But So Hoodlum actually taking a little bit of an upgrade lead at the moment. He's going to have, I think, 2-1. And he's getting the Ghost Academy right now. Realizes that the High Templars are, are out. But he's got a little bit of a crisis moment right now. Needs to micro against that. Needs to make sure that he could take all those units down. Again, the High Templar doesn't have enough energy for a storm. That Archon doesn't have shields either. So literally, these Stim Marines without the Medivacs could even just do a good chunk of damage on their own. Uh, trying to get that Colossus back in time, making sure he doesn't lose it. Um, still a very viable unit in this matchup, really late. And we see who's saying, ah, two ra it's not two racks, OP, give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Bruce, Bruce could have actually force field off and been able to kill him. Oh, can he get that Observer? Yes, he will finally hoodlum that Observer. He's just been chasing around. I think it's actually this one right here that he missed earlier. But hoodlum now going to be trying to go up to four base. Meanwhile, Bruce already has four. Yeah, I see, I see who's saying in my chat, man. Don't, don't, don't give me that bull. You know exactly what could have happened. You know exactly what could have happened. That could have been even. That could have been really devastating for the Terran player. You, you, you and I were both sitting right now in our rooms. I'm casting, so I'm actually multitasking right now. My, my, my thought process APM is really high because I actually got to cast in. We, we got to think together. We, we know, we know that Cedric expand could have actually done probably more damage. So, very fortunate for him. He was able to do so much and delay the Protoss player. But yeah, over here at the top left side, I'm pretty sure the drop is going on. There it is. Oh wow! Right in front of Stalkers, able to just drop a little bit. And this is really nice. I like this by Hoodlum. Um, at the moment, it's okay to do these type of things, um, like do these drops. Eventually, keep you know the Protoss player on his toes. Um, take a little bit of the probes away, etc., etc. But eventually, um, it comes to a point in time where you need to quit doing that. Because, I mean, there, there comes a time when you just need to quit doing drops because you're just going to waste supply. You're going to waste, what what is it, 18, 18 total. If you're doing double medevac drops, that's a total of, I think, 22 supply, if I'm not mistaken. That, that's a lot of supply to lose right there, especially if you can't do a lot, a lot of damage. So it's good that he's keeping him active, but again, there's a lot of pylons here, a lot of good notifications for him. But as you see, because of that, he does have his units spread out a little bit. He's got a few zolts here, he's got some units back here, so that does take away from the Protoss army. But over here on the top right side of the map, going on to the close position uh, main for his opponent. Oh my god, Storm Galore absolutely getting dropped. Hold him right now, just trying to snipe those down. And I think he might have a little more energy. No, he does not. But he just, just doesn't have a lot of units right now. Hold him down to 90 supply versus Cliff Bruce and realize that, I mean, it's practically GG for him. Wow. So there we have it, guys. Don't, see, this is what I'm talking about. Don't, don't give me that T-Rex OP. Don't, don't give me that.